It's a beautiful day and we welcome you to another exciting edition of The Big Interview on FMIG TV. My name is Sheikh Tofik Sielu and I'm going to be your host for today. In this time of the season, a lot of top players come back home for holidays. Today, we introduce to you one of the most unsung Ghanaian players. Very versatile, very aggressive in midfield, very intelligent player on the field of play. He's seen it all, from Odini all the way to Russia. But the spotlight seem not to be on him. We are honored to be speaking to Aziz Tetem this afternoon. Aziz, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I believe you are fine. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. You started your football career at Dansuman. Every Ghanaian who knows you knows that um, you played for Liberty Professionals before you traveled out to Odini. When you started playing for Liberty Professionals, what was the dream for you as a footballer? What were you aspiring to achieve? Well, I think um, every football player wants to be, to be playing in Europe. So, of course, when I joined Liberty, yeah, I would say my aim was to be a top professional football player. You, you played about 30 matches in Russia for Dynamo. You scored a goal as a midfielder. How will you wrap up your season and how will you describe your performance in the season? In the Russian league is, um, I think, is sixth league on the world, uh, in the world, I think. So you can see the difficulties in the league. So I don't think it's, it's quite easy for, for a foreigner or for a player to, to be playing consistent. And um, I think the season was quite okay, was quite okay. But um, what we, we were trying to achieve, we could not. So, but um, we managed to, to stay in the league, so I would say that's also important for us to, to be playing in the Premier League next season. So hopefully we'll, we'll see how the season goes next season. Personally, um, as a player, did you meet your targets within the season with Dynamo? Um, I would say no, but um, like I said earlier on, you know, before every season you you have targets for yourself and um, the things you want to achieve. But um, for me, as a player, I wanted to be playing every week, which um, I did. And um, I wanted to help the team also, so we can play in Europe. Because you know, Dynamo is not um, um, a small club. A small club. It's, a, it's quite a big club, so that was um, our target but uh, we could not manage to achieve it and um, I would say it was not um, what uh, we wanted to achieve but um, me personally like I wanted to be playing every week that's the target um, I set for myself and I think um, I managed to, to do it. Russia has been a place that a lot of Ghanaian players have played there before. Um, Majid Waris played there, Mubarak Wakaso has played there before uh, Rabiu Muhammad has played there, Jonathan Mensah, mm -hmm. but on numerous occasions these players play in Russia and in the next minute you see them moving out. How difficult is the Russian league and why do you think these players are unable to stay in Russia? Well, I can speak for myself, um, I cannot speak for them, I don't know. Every league in Europe is, is difficult, it's very difficult to be playing there. and. Let me talk like in football in general, it's, it's difficult because it's not quite easy to, to be playing and then to be playing in a country where you don't, you don't know the language, you don't know anyone there, you, you don't know the culture. So it's, it's always difficult, but I can only speak for myself, I cannot speak about the other players. Me, for instance, when I went, my first my first, let me say, the first five months was quite difficult for me. It was quite very, very difficult for me because I did not know the league. I did not know even my teammates, I did not know them. But um, eventually I, I got to understand them and then I think um, my second season was, was quite okay. 
Now, what has been the most difficult period or moment in your football career? Um, I think um, when I lost the Polish Cup final. That was the most difficult. Yeah. Moment. Why is it the most difficult for you? Um, I think, like you said earlier on, before season, every player have um, his target. And uh, at that time, our target was to win the league and then win the cup. We could not manage to win the league and we were able to, to get to the finals of the cup, which we thought um, we could manage to win it, but we did not, uh, we did not win. So, If you are just connecting, uh, this is FMIG TV and uh, we are here this afternoon with one of the most hard-working Ghanaian players in Europe, Aziz Tete. Aziz, um, you've been playing week in, week out for your club in Russia. But unfortunately, anytime the list for the national team comes out, Aziz's name is not in there. Why do you think that is happening? I'm always there. I'm always there for the national team. I'm always there, but I'm not that desperate because, um, as um, you know, everybody wants to play for his country. But I think we, we are quite a lot, so if Yes, and it's only a few people they're going to be called, so I think it's not my time yet, but hopefully soon. Do you think that there's been a point in time in your career that you think that, oh, shit, this season, I've had the best of everything and I deserve to be in the Black Stars, that you have not been called? Well, I think, yeah, there's always been a time because um, what I know is to be called in the national team, you have to be playing in your, your club side. And if you check my my history, I think uh, I've been playing every week, every out in, in I think all my clubs have been. So it's always been that time you ask yourself like, ah, what is going on? Maybe it's not your time yet, like I said earlier on, or like it's something else. But we just have to be pray to be praying, keep on praying, keep on working hard and, and maybe one day your time will come. When the recent uh, provisional list for the Black Stars came out, we have players who have not even played maybe up to five matches in a season. They mm -hmm. were handed call-ups. Others have played less than 10 matches. Others mm -hmm. have played 11 games. And so they were handed call-ups to the national team. You have played 31 games with a goal as a defensive midfielder, but you were not called. Did you feel bad? Well, I think it's, I don't know. Is bittersweet. I don't know how to put it. You feel you feel bad, but at the same time you feel happy because, um, like you know, Fatal is like a brother to me. And um, when I saw his name in the list, I was very happy for him because I know how hard he has been working, and then that's his dream also to play for the national team. So I was sad, but I was happy also. I was sad I was not included, but I was happy for him. You understand? Yeah. The Black Stars have been chasing the African Cup of Nations trophy um, since 1982, 37 years now. And the, 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 the chorus all over the country has been, we need to win it. Players are saying, we need to win it. Supporters are saying the same thing. Politicians are saying the same thing. You think it is the right time that Ghana must win the African Cup of Nations? That's what everyone is hoping for. Like, it's the time to, to win it. But I think before you go to a tournament, I think everything is, you have to, to plan. So I hope they will have a good preparation and then they will win the cup. Because of course I'm Ghanaian. If they win, I'll be happy. So I think, um, this is what we are wishing and everyone is praying for. That is the time for us to win. For Which us. countries do you think will pose a very big threat to Ghana's quest to win the African Cup of Nations? It's quite a difficult one because, like you said, Senegal will be playing and I think they have a quite good team because we know their players are playing in the top level and they are playing in good teams. I'm not saying our players are not playing in good teams, but uh, if you look at their team, I think um, it's, um, it's a difficult side to play against. 
and Egypt will be playing now. So I think it's Algeria. I don't know. It's, it's going to be very difficult. So apart from Ghana, um, which other country do you think it's it's likely? put Ghana aside or it's likely to be in the finals with Ghana? Mm, I would say Senegal or Egypt. We will be drawing the curtain on our conversation with uh, Aziz very soon but I want to ask him one very funny but important question. Are you married? <laughs> Um, not yet, but I'm engaged. Oh, I only asked of marriage. No, I'm not married yet, but you, I'm you engaged. You allow me to ask my second question, but I'll still ask. Mm. So when are you married? Soon. How soon? Very soon. Okay, so how many girlfriends do you have now? How many girlfriends? I have a fiancé. So only one? Yeah. Thank you very much, as is for your time. <laughs> <laughs> That is, uh, as he said, a former Liberty professionals player. He played for Udine in, in, in Italy. He's played for quite a couple of clubs in Europe, and now he's playing in Russia for Dynamo. Thanks once again for your time. Thanks for having. Thanks me. for watching, and we we'll say you stick and stay with FMIG TV as we continue to bring you the best of interviews with our football stars.